A DHS memo obtained by Axios shows that the federal government is bracing for a potential surge in violence after the Roe v. Wade decision is announced. It says threats, quote, are likely to persist and may increase leading up to and following the issuing of the court's official ruling. This after uh, the preliminary was leaked. South Carolina Congresswoman Nancy Mace knows what it's like to be a target of political attacks. Her home was vandalized by Antifa symbols and profanity, I should say, with uh, those symbols. Last year, she joins us live right now from D.C. Good morning to you, Congresswoman. Good morning, and thank you for having me this morning. You bet. Uh, so this is a little scary because uh, this particular uh, DHS memo essentially says that these activists could be so angry they might go to the Supreme Court, storm the Supreme Court, burn down the Supreme Court, kill the justices. Right, and we've seen this violence before, right? In Portland and other cities across the country, and even in my hometown of Charleston, uh, we saw some of this violence uh, for months, and in some cases longer than that. And I know firsthand how violent these extremists, the tolerant, so-called tolerant left, can be when they showed up at my house in the middle of the night to spray paint it. I had my car keyed months before that. Uh, I've seen the threats that can happen that are, we know, threatening to our justices right now. I have to carry a gun when I am back home everywhere I go. And that is not the kind of world that uh, I want my kids to grow up in. And Joe Biden was supposed to be a unifier, and yet he's endorsed this idea that people can show up, which is, by the way, against the law under Title 18 of the U.S. Code of Law, at the justices' homes and protests. And protests, as you know, we've seen over the last couple of years, yeah. can turn violent. And this is not, this is un-American. It should not be endorsed and not okay in this country. The Axios reports uh, makes it sound like uh, they've got to worry about uh, protesters from both anti-abortion anti and pro-abortion. Uh, but, I, you know, I, just the common sense would be that if Roe v. Wade is struck down, the anti-abortion activists would be dancing in the street. They're not going to be lighting the Supreme Court on fire. No, they're not. They will be very happy and be working at both the federal and state level to work on uh, pro-life laws that the vast majority of parents ag agree on. But what's so scary about this is that this is being tolerated. This has been okayed by Joe Biden. Joe Biden is still running against Donald Trump, it seems like, and attacking his supporters and dividing our country on this and so many other issues in this country. And what we ought to be doing is lowering the temperature. Um, we have seen violence in our streets. We do not want to see it again. The American people, as you all noted earlier in the program, they are paying 26% more for housing and yeah. for rent. Uh, gas has gone up, and it's not because of the uh, invasion of Russia. I mean, you, inflation was sure. 8% before Putin ever invaded Ukraine. Now it's at 10%. But the American people are really hurting. I had a mom text me on the plane Friday night. Uh, her baby formula had been seized by customs. It was being imported by Europe. And I was like, I don't care what paperwork was messed up. Get the mom the baby formula. And so we have real problems facing our country, and we got to work together on both sides of the aisle. Shockingly, yes, Democrats and Republicans need to work together on the issues facing America. Unfortunately, it sounds like uh, once this verdict, this uh, judgment is announced, it sounds like the, you know, the country is, brace, uh, you know, is bracing for some sort of turmoil and it doesn't sound good. Let's hope that none of it happens. Congresswoman Nancy Mace from South Carolina, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. All right. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.